Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video brought to you by Trader24. For more financial analysis, subscribe to our channel. Investors who thought that Bitcoin's decline to $19,500 was a sign of a larger decline due to Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's vow to maintain the US Central Bank's aggressive monetary policy found some comfort in its resilience. After briefly falling on Sunday, Bitcoin rose to the new support level above $20,000 and has been trading around $20,400 in recent hours, increasing by about 3%. After dipping significantly below the psychologically significant threshold over the weekend, Ether has resumed its tendency of outperforming Bitcoin, increasing over 9% and trading well above $1,500. Altcoins are in the green for the most part, with those with the largest market capitalization rising more than 3%. More specifically, Avalanche is at $20.31 plus 12.87%, Cosmos at 11.56 plus 11.05%, Uniswap at 6.38 plus 7.75%, Solana at 32.75 plus 7.20%, Ethereum Classic at 33.79 plus 8.67%, Flow at 1.94 plus 12.30% and Near Protocol at 4.14 plus 9.29%. A self-described whistleblower alleged on Sunday that Avalabs, the firm behind the Avalanche blockchain, had paid lawyers to harm rivals and fend off authorities, sparking a scandal that caused AVAX to lose more than 11% of its value, which has since regained as of today. Avalab CEO Amin Gunsirer refuted claims that the business had launched a covert smear operation on Monday. The Brazilian central bank chose Itaú Unibanco to develop a decentralized liquidity pool. The platform would enable the custody and trading of tokens like stablecoins, linked to the real, the US dollar or other fiat currencies, the central bank said in a statement released on Friday, through the use of blockchain and smart contracts. Banco Central do Brasil also disclosed seven additional projects, including EasyHas, which aims to decentralize credit risk among numerous creditors by contracting financial assets on the blockchain.